And Maria and Ed, in the end, four firefighters were treated for minor injuries, but it could have been a lot worse because at one point we all thought that two firefighters were trapped in that attic. It can be the worst day of your life. As fires swept through this house on Perthshire Road in Brighton and Boston firefighters swarmed the upper floor, neighbors held their breath. There's about six of them on the roof, the flames are pouring out, you know, water shooting everywhere, stuff, debris flying everywhere. And yeah, it was pretty intense. That's when the May Day call went out by a firefighter who heard the piercing alarm that signals a colleague may be trapped. Every SCBA, our breathing apparatus, has a uh, built in alarm system. He heard a couple of alarms going off. He did as he was trained. Uh, because time is of the essence. Firefighters went into rapid intervention or rescue mode, but found no firefighter actually in distress. It turns out these alarms will sound if a firefighter stands still for more than 30 seconds, the device assuming that firefighter may be in some kind of trouble. That's the low tone. That's just the initial warning, you know. And that goes off. You know, and that, the only way you shut it, you have to physically shut it off. On this night, thankfully, everyone was accounted for. The two families who live here and the firefighters who rushed to their aid. Everybody is breathing a uh, major sigh of relief. Seven people were displaced tonight. Damage estimated at a half million dollars. Careless disposal of a cigarette on the second floor rear porch is believed to be the cause. We're live in Brighton tonight. I'm Mary Salada, WCVB News Center 5.